prophetic word for the month of Iyar, which is linked with the tribe of Issachar. Hello friends, this is Lorena Cox, bringing the prophetic word of the month. The Hebrew month is Iyar, which is linked with the tribe of Issachar. Throughout this prophetic word, I have titles, break down by titles. Here it goes. The heavens are open. God is inviting you to be filled with expectation from him. During this season between Passover and Pentecost, the heavens are open and the spirit realm is highly active. You can feel in your spirit less opposition accessing the presence of the Lord and the supernatural. You say a word that you hear from the Lord and the presence of God drops on you and the atmosphere changes. The Holy Spirit is stirring you up to access the kingdom of God, the supernatural, the access and the access of his presence in a deeper way. I see and I hear rumblings in your innermost being, which sounds like a volcano ready to erupt. I see the fire rumbling and bubbling up in the inside of you. These rumblings are your anticipations to encounter God's presence afresh. Hear from God clearly, see more visions and dreams, and receive and expect the healing and miraculous manifestation of God's power. As you allow these rumblings grow and flow, your innermost beings, quote, lava, will cause you to expand as a volcano, releases lava in the natural, and new land is formed. In a similar manner, you will expand. New territory will start forming before you. New territory that no one else has touched before. New territories are representing new areas and realms of influence that no one else has stepped into before. These new territories will be rich, abundant, and profitable. Jesus reply on this scripture, Matthew chapter 3, verse 15 through 17, we see the heavens open. Jesus reply, it is only right to do all that God requires. Then John baptized Jesus. And as Jesus rose up out of the water, the heavenly realm opened up over him. And he saw the Holy Spirit descend out of the heavens and rest upon him in the form of a dove. Then suddenly, the voice of the Father shouted from the sky, saying, This is my Son, the Beloved. My greatest delight is in him. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Another example of open heaven. Then suddenly, after I wrote down these messages, I saw a portal open into the heavenly realm. And the same trumpet voice I heard speaking with me at the beginning said, Ascend into this realm. I want to reveal to you what must happen after this. The aroma of Christ. ER the month of ER, that word means the beauty of blooming flowers, which speaks of the aroma of Christ, God's love. I see in a vision, people is smelling the aroma of Christ and they are lifted from the ground as they follow the aroma of Christ with their eyes closed. They follow Jesus by faith and not by sight. The aroma of Christ is activating his discernment in people to discern when he is, where he is, and where he is going. God is also healing people's natural sense of smell and taste right now. 
people will smell the aroma of Christ in your garments and around you, and they will know you have been with Jesus. Let me say that again. People will smell the aroma of Christ in your garments and around you, and they will know you have been with Jesus. Some of you will smell the aroma of Christ in this secret place, and, and that aroma will saturate you completely. You will experience God's presence in beautiful new ways through your spiritual and natural senses. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 through 2 says, Be imitators of God in everything you do, for then you will represent your Father as His beloved sons and daughters, and continue to walk, surrender to the extravagant love of Christ, for He surrendered His life as a sacrifice for us. His great love for us was pleasing to God, like an aroma of adoration, a sweet healing fragrance. Discerning good and evil. I see a vision and, um, of an itching nose, which represents the discernment of something that is not of God. He is using your spiritual sense of smell for discernment, and he's letting you know what is not of him. He is equipping your spiritual senses, especially your sense of smell, to discern good and evil. God is saying that he will use your discernment for deliverance, healing, relationships, and decision-making. For your protection and the protection of others, God will allow you to know at times some people's thoughts, for you to know their true motives. As you pray, the Lord will give you wisdom, and you will know how to respond wisely to people in situations you will know by the Spirit of God. People will recognize that it's not natural wisdom, but supernatural wisdom. Matthew chapter 26, verse 10 through 11, gives us an example of this. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, why are you critical of this woman? She has done a beautiful act of kindness. You will always have someone poor whom you can help, but you will not always have me. In this case, Jesus knew their thoughts and he responded wisely. Psalm 111, verse 10. Where can wisdom be found? It is born in the fear of God. Everyone who follows his ways will never lack his living understanding. And the adoration of God will abide throughout eternity. God is awakening the Daniels and Josephs. The Lord is also activating wisdom for dream interpretation. He is awakening the Daniels and the Josephs in our generations to put God's fingerprint through dream and enigma interpretations in the marketplace and any secular industry, especially Hollywood. God will use his people with wisdom in business administration. Wisdom will flow through them and they will organize and manage business in very strategic ways. I see them moving business areas from the left to the right, from the front to the back. Business dynamics are being recognized more effectively and profitable like a puzzle being put together by the guiding hand of God. So God's wisdom will be manifested and demonstrated. I see business people doing presentations and the Lord's wisdom manifesting through them, recognize, resulting, resulting in outstanding presentations and divine appointments for God's glory. I see a business person working on a laptop in an airplane while the wisdom of God is flowing 
while this person works on the presentation, the person besides him or her is feeling the presence of God right there. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. Wisdom is a gift from a generous God. And every word he speaks is full of revelation and becomes a fountain of understanding within you. Daniel chapter 1, verse 17. As for these four young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. New revelation of God's splendor. The Lord is releasing and the Lord is willing to show his splendor by revelation. The Lord says, you are entering into a season of greater realms of revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ's splendor. The Lord is opening up the gates of revelation for his people to know Jesus Christ's splendor. He will cause you to be in awe of him because of his splendor. His splendor generously gives illumination, which signifies the increase of revelation. Darkness cannot overtake you. So this month, when darkness tries to overtake you, shout, I am, incre I am increasing in light and revelation. I am light because Jesus is the light. I am no longer in darkness. I am in the kingdom of light. God is releasing like a laser, his splendor of light on people's bodies. And miraculously, it is eliminating body malformations and skin issues. I see a large skin issue on an arm and God's splendor of light erases it. Then the skin looks fresh and healthy again. Skin issues are being miraculously being healed. I see spots with lots of painful warts being removed from the skin. The Lord is also removing the shame that those warts cause. I see a foot receiving a miracle and the warts are disappearing. Receive your miracle now in Jesus' mighty name. Also. In this month, natural healing will manifest dealing with processing thoughts. Read Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. This month is dealing with the conscience of the soul and receiving a spiritual advice. Toxic patterns of thinking are being detoxed now. Psalm 111, verse 2 through 4. For God's mighty miracles astound me. His wonders are so delightfully mysterious that they leave all who seek them astonished. Everything he does is full of splendor and beauty. Each miracle demonstrates his eternal perfection. His unforgettable works of surpassing wonder reveal his grace and tender mercy. God is transitioning you. This is also a month of transition. The Spirit of the Lord will transition you from a dry season to a season overflowing with anointing, fire, revelation of his secrets. He is transitioning you transitioning your heart from brokenness to cheerfulness. He will transition you from lack to more than enough. He is transitioning you from sickness to wholeness. He is transitioning you from captivity to liberty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I worship you, God. Hallelujah, Lord. The Lord is transitioning you from your season of mourning to comfort. He is transitioning you. He is transitioning your ashes into beauty for his glory. The Lord is transitioning you from garments of shame, heaviness, and fear to brand new garments of joy, praise, 
righteousness, strength, and double honor. The Lord will transition you from confusion and fogginess to clarity of vision and mind. The Lord will transition you from trouble to possess double for your trouble. Hallelujah. Where you had injustice, the Lord will transition you from injustice to justice, restitution, restoration, and recompense. The Lord will transition you from having your business and income almost shut down to overflowing like oil coming out of the rock in abundance. I see this rock in a vision and the oil of provision is overflowing. Hallelujah. 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 I release that right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord will transition you from sadness and depression to rejoicing and laughter. The Lord will transition you from the realm of worship into the realm of his glory because the Lord is transitioning you to a higher level in your relationship with him. In this time of transition, watch with gratitude those who are helping you to keep your hands up while you are going to the other side that God is transitioning you to. God will send new people your way that will help you to hold your hands up for you to win the battle and get the victory. We see in Exodus 17, Israel was attacked by the Amalekites and Moses went to the top of the hill and raised his hands. As long as his hands were raised, they won. But when he, he put his hands down, they lost. So Aaron and her help Moses keep his hands up and they won the battle. Issachar anointing. This month is linked with the tribe of Issachar, whose name means Adonai brings reward. Adonai brings reward. The sons of Issachar understood the times. They knew what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Issachar also represents prosperity, intercession, and blessing. God is inviting you to receive from him an impartation of Issachar's anointing. The Lord says you will no longer just desire to flow like others do with revelation and understanding mysteries, times, and seasons. The Lord says the anointing of Issachar is for you too. God is saying, I am generous. I am a generous God. And I give you abundantly above you can think, ask, or imagine. Then ask me and it will be granted. I see a bright white book full of light. This is revelation knowledge available to you. The Lord will give you fresh revelation and understanding from his word and by the breath that he releases through Holy Spirit. I want to share with you from 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 31 through 32. The Bible says, the sons of Issachar who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, their shift were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. This month, guard yourself. King of Israel, Basha, from the tribe of Issachar, Basha was not a godly man and led Israel to continue in the sins of Jeroboam. Those sins were idolatry. Therefore, watch and guard yourself from idolatry. God is a jealous God. Ask him to show you the idols in your life. He will reveal who your idols are. There are some idols that you are not aware of that, that exist. 
you're not aware that they, they exist in your life. God will make them known to you. This is a time to cling the altar of your heart and have the Lord God first on the altar of your heart. The bull is associated with this month. This month is associated with the constellation Taurus, the bull, which means looking and observing to find a place of strength. To the Hebrews, the bull was the symbol of strength. God uses this constellation to remind you to find your place of strength to strength. God will transition you from strength to strength as you seek his face and find joy, which is your strength. Receive the anointing to find a place of improvement so your strength can manifest an increase where you are to where you are going. The Spirit of God is constantly moving and he wants you to move with him in one accord. In a dream, I saw a preacher and a bull standing next to each other at the pulpit. Both were very focused, paying attention to the attendees. Through this dream, I feel that God is saying that he is strengthening the preachers as they preach and release strength to his people. Preachers are to be focused on strengthening God's people in this month. The Lord reminds me of the story of David when he heard Goliath intimidating the army of Israel. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of Goliath. God wants his preachers to preach and release strength for his people to be strengthened so their hearts will not fail because of fear, which has been causing them to lose strength. It is a new day, says the Lord. It is a new day. I encourage you to read 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 22 through 25. Thank you for listening to this prophetic word. May the Lord bless you abundantly, richly. Shalom. This is Lorena Cox. God bless you. God bless you.